How do you manage to fit in things that make you happy when you're that busy? That's something I really struggle with. This is gonna be a really, I, I think this is gonna be a really bad answer, but I'm gonna answer this truthfully to me. And I would say, do not, this is not advice. So sometimes I like give like advice and stuff. This is not advice. This is just how I personally address this issue. I think this is kind of a, a bad take though. Here goes. I don't think that personal happiness matters that much. Um, so when I'm thinking about like how I conduct my life, I would put ha personal happiness on like, if I had like a top 10 list of things that I'm focused on, it'd probably be like number seven or eight on that list. It's, 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 it's an issue of like minor importance, but it's not that really big of a deal. I, I focus a lot more on impact. So I'm willing to sacrifice personal happiness for like the difference that I think I'm making in the world and the development that I'm making as a person. And I'm more interested in developing myself as a person and, and trying to make a positive impact on the world than I'm interested in my personal happiness. So I actually don't gear my life in a way that adds to my personal happiness. I might gear my life in a way that reduces total stress so I can do more things like meditate or hot yoga or things like that. But when it comes to like personal happiness, my true personal happiness, to be totally honest with you, I'm sorry if this seems like kind of sad, I guess it's a little bit of a Pepe hands thing, but to be totally honest with you, not even memeing, like 100%, my true personal happiness to be, would be, I click the stop streaming button, I install EVE Online, and I play four accounts being a jump freighter pilot, and I just chill. That's my personal happiness. Or maybe I play Magic, whatever, but I don't really talk to many people, and I just like play Magic the Gathering all day, and I play like EVE Online, and I just chill out, and... um you know, maybe like, maybe I would work a job. I mean, probably like a pretty basic one. Like I would, um, I'd love like being like a, like a, some kind of like low impact in like a little retail store, like a security guard or something you could like play games while you do it or something, something like that. That's my real happiness. If like, if I wanted to maximize for my personal happiness, not kidding. Like I would love to just play Eve online all day or play magic, the gathering all day or something. I could really easily do that. All of this stuff, like releasing YouTube videos and doing this Twitch stream and everything like that, is because I, I I trick myself into believing that I'm like trying to make like a greater like positive impact. Like this stuff doesn't make me happy. This stuff this stuff is because I'm trying to do something more than what that is. When I was in my early twenties, I um that was what I did with all my time. I would I would go to college. I would play StarCraft II in college, uh, at, in class. And I would um, play games and then I would go home and I would play games and I would chill. And I didn't really do anything for five years. And it was like probably some of the like happiest time in my life. But the problem with that was even though I was playing hours and hours of video games and I was living like my authentic self, there was something wrong with it. It's hard to describe what it was. There's something about playing video games on that level that it's just like not as rewarding as like going out and struggling and trying to make things happen in the real world. And I don't know why this is, and maybe it's just like a personal feeling, but I had the feeling that when I was playing like a lot of games like that, that there was something sort of missing from my life, that there was something like less real about my experience of living. And that as a result, like I, I, have a lot of regret about the time that I spent doing that and the time that I spent like playing video games for those hours a day. I know that it would make me happy to do those things. And I know that if I just like quit streaming and I quit working at N3F and I just like went and I didn't work like two jobs and I just chilled out, I'd be a lot happier. But then around like 60 or 70 years old, something would happen. I would look back on my life and I would have this really deep sense of regret because I didn't make a difference and I didn't do something that was impactful. And then I realized in that moment that I, I don't have time to go back and fix it. I'm out of energy and I'm, I'm almost out of time. So like ancient one style in Marvel, I've like projected into the future and I see myself as the person that I would be at 60, 70 and 80 looking down on the person that spent all that time just pursuing personal happiness. And this is a really hard thing to understand, I think, um, if you don't like put yourself in your older self and realize that like your future self will be disappointed with your current self if you don't aspire to be the greatest you can be. I can't explain why that is, but I can promise you it's the case. And so in that context, I decided that I needed to be 
the, the best version of myself, which is, is to make as much impact as possible. So I sacrifice personal happiness on a day-to-day -day basis so that when I am 60, 70, and 80, I can look back on it and I can say I'm proud of what I did and the rest of the world can look back on it and say I'm proud of what they did. Because I feel like I have an obligation, a personal obligation. Again, I'm stressing again that I don't feel like this applies to any of you. I'm speaking purely for myself. I don't do that often, but I'm speaking completely in my own, my own, uh, encapsulated in my own opinion of, of myself. I feel like I have an obligation to the world um, to be able to add more impact and to make a positive difference in it. And I feel that way because I feel like I've had an incredibly easy life. I, I've basically been raised by incredible parents into a, 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 a relatively affluent family compared to what most of the world is de dealing with of under $5 a day. I'm educated, I speak English, I have access to the internet. I went to college for two degrees. Um, I, I, I've been afforded an incredible life, great health, good genetics, wonderful people, great mentors. I have so much that I've been given in my life that I don't deserve. So the least that I can do is devote my life back to adding positivity into the world because I don't deserve to be here otherwise. Like how shitty would it be if I just took all of that and played video games for the rest of my life and did nothing and didn't add anything to the world. And it's well within my rights to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm my own human being. I can do whatever the hell I want to do, right? Um, because I'm lucky and I was born in a country that there's nobody telling me what to do at gunpoint. But just because it's within my rights to do doesn't mean that I should do it. I feel like what I should do is I should feel like I have an obligation to do better for the world and I should add as much positivity as I can, no matter what the personal cost of myself is. And so that's actually my manifesto. If I had to summarize everything that I believe into like one short thing, that would be what I just did. That's like actually who I am. And I'm not trying to take any kind of like moral high ground or something um, and say that I'm like better or whatever. Again, this is just a, a personal opinion. And I don't care at all what you think about it. I, I don't care about your opinion even a little. Or if my, because uh, this is my personal truth. And, and probably nothing can shake it. Do you have a baseline for mental health that would allow you to be as productive as possible? Well, I maximize my life to be as productive as possible so that I can get those things done, right? So everything about my nutrition and exercise is to be as effective as possible. Everything in my life is geared towards that kind of effectiveness. Happiness is doing work? No. Are you serious? That's such a weird take. I, it's so weird how people have that take. When people are like, oh, well, you're at work being happy. You're, you're happy being at work. You're happy being at the office. What? Do you think I want to wake up at 6 a.m. and do work and then stream? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I want to eat bakery donuts, wake up at like 4 p.m., and then play Eve until my eyes bleed. How is this fun? How is this happiness for me? <laughs> like, I want to, um, I want to completely potato every day. That's what I want to do. Like, it always blows my mind when people are like, "Oh, he's working sixteen hours a day. He's happy." Like, no, he's not. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I get a sense of purpose out of what I do, but dude, I mean, rolling over, waking up at, at four p.m. and playing Eve alone in my house where no one talks to me sounds like a great plan. That sounds way more fun than what I'm doing right now. But something will happen to you if you live that way. It's a weird thing. You feel more satisfied with yourself and your effort when you do a good day's work, even if it isn't enjoyable? No. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, I, I, this is so weird to say. There is no satisfaction. There's no pleasure. There's no happiness. Like whatever you're... Again, this is the part where I said this is really hard for a lot of people to understand because you have to project yourself. Okay, like I'm going to say some really, I really don't like saying this stuff on stream because this is like the easiest way to lose viewers. You're going to die, all of you, really soon before you know it because you're in the present right now. And when you die, it's also going to be the present. You're not going to die in the future. You're going to die now. And it's going to be way sooner than you'd like to think. 
So between that time and now is a consistent series of present moments. That's it. You have no past and your future's undetermined. You could die really soon. You could die tomorrow, right? Like, but you'll probably die later. But later isn't really later, it's now. Because, in, so in the moment that you die, in the moment that your life is over, you, that's it. It's gonna be this, it's gonna feel the exact same as you watching the stream with me right now. So between now and then, you have a choice. You can live your life based on pleasure and happiness, and, and maybe that's your, your, your mantra. And if you're happy with that, then in that present moment of, of when you're gonna die and when you're gonna lead up to when you're gonna die, you, um, that may satisfy you. But for me, it doesn't. So, so this like, I'm not saying that I, I take any pleasure from what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis or satisfaction or whatever you wanna call it. I have an obligation. I have an obligation to do more. So, uh, obligations are not fun, it just is. Now here's the other corollary of that that's even worse. Not only are you gonna die, but you're also gonna spend a large degree of your present moments in old age. So you're, you're, things are not gonna be working as well as they did before. Your brain's not gonna be as sharp. Your physicality's not gonna be as adept. You're gonna lose a lot of what you have now. And you're gonna lose that for maybe 20 or 30 years, a good portion of your life, if you're lucky enough. Some of you might die way before that. So during those years, what do you want to do? And how are you going to think about the years you spent when you do have this energy? Are you going to be grateful that you spent that at that time being happy? And a lot of the really, uh, a lot of the takes on this are, people have cho cho chosen personal happiness. I'm gonna maximize for my pleasure and satisfaction right now. And I think most of the people that have done that have done so not imagining their future self and what that's gonna look like to them later. And they're making a bad mistake because what's gonna happen is you're gonna live your life in regret for those last 20 or 30 years and it's gonna be really fucking painful. And, I've met, and if you hang out a lot, of, a lot of old people, you'll see that there's a lot of old people that feel this way and it's really sad. I think I'm not gonna talk about this on stream ever again except for this one time because I don't, I don't like saying this kind of stuff, but this is the reality of life, dude. The reality of life is you're gonna get fucking old, you're gonna die, and then you're going to have a, most of your time before that be crippling in pain and be really terrible. So do you wanna be proud of what you did for the, for the 30 or 40 years before that when you had the energy to do something, or do you want to wish you could have been something and wish that you could have had that potential? So all of you all that are choosing pleasure and happiness right now and thinking that's the, that's the way and that you're gonna be so happy about that time, be really fucking careful. Because when you're 70, 80, or 90, you may not be thinking that may. You may wish that you had a greater impact, that you made a difference, that you did something different, that you aspired to be your best self every day and tried to push yourself to be better than you could have been. And then you could look back on that and be proud as you sit back in your armchair because you don't have the energy to do it then. That's gonna, that's gonna appear to you way, way sooner than you can possibly imagine. You, the, the time is going to accelerate to such a degree that you will not even imagine how fast you hit there. You will be 70 years old and you'll be like, how the fuck did this happen? What, I, I don't even remember what happened. And time will blend together into a blur. So that what matters over that arc of time of your life is going to be these big, points of impact that you made that you're personally proud of. So are you going to sit back and look at your life and wish that you could have been more for the last 30 years of it? Or are you going to actually sit there and say, I'm proud of myself because I aspire to be the best version of myself and that's my fucking obligation to myself. That's why none of you motherfuckers will ever tell me, oh yeah, he's not happy or pursuing whatever. Fuck that, okay? Miss me with that shit. I'm telling you right now, I have an obligation to be the best version of myself to add to the, um, to, to the most amount of impact that I possibly can to this world and I will not fucking sleep, I will not fucking eat, I will not fucking rest until I do that and I, and I will look back on myself when I am older, if I'm lucky enough to get there and I'll say I lived a life where Worth living. That's it. Period. End of story. You do whatever the fuck you want, but don't tread on my dreams. And I encourage all of you to think really carefully about that as well. And, and try to live as authentically to that truth as you can. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Walk, little walk, small talk, big thoughts, gonna tell them all just what I want. That street, two streets, I see you and me hanging on the empty swings.